Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I am going to tell about the new module over the phrase structure rule in the universal grammar. And as you know that in the previous video, we have already discussed all these things. Mean the human cognition, the human faculty of language consists of lexicon. In lexicon, we have the word, the item. And second, the phrase structure rule. And how we can generate the phrase structure rule? We have the one module that is X bar theory. And if these things converge, and we make the D structure. Here, the question is that how we can generate the D structure? If our D structure has been generated then this structure will be moved into the second structure that is the s structure for generating the d structure we must need the one module that controls the d structure that helps you to draw the d structure of every language that is called theta theory and first of all you should know that what is the data what is the sentence and we are discussing the English language and you should know the data of English language see we have the sentence that is the man hit the ball this is our sentence and you know that in this sentence we have the two enemies one the man the second is the ball we have the two and paste and the second is the hit and if we take the ps rule we can say that this is our np and this is our vp and this is our whole s because in ps rule we have already assumptions that put assumption that the s consists of np and vp and after accounting for we have discussed that we reach the x bar theory the elementary tree and if we have to construct this sentence what should be our first requirement our first requirement is that we must fulfill the x bar theory our x bar theory will fulfill then we move to the second module what is the second module and i have told you that our second module is theta theory and what theta theory states actually theta theory states that within the sentence we have the items and every items should be assigned some rules some rules and they are called the theta rule and on this base we have named the theory the theta theory and if we say the sentence the man hit the ball and we have the two np that the man is np the ball is the np here one role is assigned to the man and the second role is assigned to the ball and what and what is the entity that assigned the role and we have when we talk about the expert theory we can say that we have the head word and the complement and the specifier the heads are very important within the syntax and the expert theory because head plays an important role head assign the theta role to the complement and head also can assign the theta role to the specified position and see what happens and how we assign the roles first we have the head word that is the v it assigns the theta role at the complement position and this is the internal argument of vp this assigned the ball the theta role this is within the local domain because we have the binary branch this is the sister this is the sister and this is the mother of these two and items and over that we have the specifier this is the v bar we have the specifier and at specifier position this v also assigned the theta role but what is the difference between these two theta roles? Because when we assign the theta roles, we have the two positions. 
one is the terminal position, the second one is the external position. On that position, we assign the different type of data roles. At this place, this we assign the theme role. And at this specified position, this we assign, assign the agent role. And here we have the crucial item that is the V head. Actually, V licenses the Chita role within the local domain because V tells us that how can we generate our basic structure, how can we generate our D structure, and this is our D structure. And if you are new in our channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates.